Hi guys, what's up? This is Rito. And this is Yvonne. Welcome back to our channel. Yes, yeah, so today we're doing a makeup video and we're creating, recreating Dustin's makeup looks. So today we're doing two looks and last time Rito did my makeup is like two years ago and then it's super fun. We, well, he did like the Marc Jacobs 2016 look on me and then this time we're flipping it around. I'm doing two looks on him and then we're thinking why not bring you guys along this journey? Mm -hmm. And so um, we will be um, showing you guys how to do this look and the other look. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Let's go to the makeup. So Dustin, I'm not sure if it's Hank or Hunk, um, but he is a influencer that I found on Instagram. I've been following, well, we've been following him for a while and he is kind of like my favorite influencer right now because he has this very grunge punk and like sophisticated kind of prince um, like a punk prince I would say so he does this series called um, 7 days 7 looks on his Instagram a lot and all these looks are just amazing and he also does a lot of like makeup looks and we thought it would be nice to incorporate and take inspiration from him and do a YouTube video about it. So the first look we're doing is this one. The kind of vibe we're going for is sort of like Berlin techno club dancing kind of vibe. And it's gonna be like pretty night out type of scene. It's gonna be black and heavy and just like throw it on there. Something Rito never done before. Yeah, so we're taking the main inspiration from this look um, that Dustin did. And let's just get into it. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Okay. Because like the the brows. Okay. 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 No more further. Okay. <laughs> let's just like close your eyes. I feel like we need to talk though. Yes. Okay. We can talk. I will talk by myself because mm -hmm. I feel like I've never done a look like with. I should relax, right? Yeah. I've never done like a look with like makeup on my brows except for like concealing my brows to achieve like the no brows looking okay. effect mm -hmm. and also i've never done like big big eyeshadow moments and that reminds me of like have you seen the movie um black swan yes it's kind of like the makeup look yes that's what i've been going for Turn a little bit. Don't, 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 don't. You can turn a little bit. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is so far what we got. And I don't really know how. Like I just started doing makeup for some reason. Yeah, no, no. Tell, tell us about how you've been like taking on makeup artist jobs here and there. Yes. If our follower, if like uh, people who are following us also follow Kasia. It's gonna see her recent, most recent music videos and all the makeup are like I've, I've done, I've, I did all the makeup and hair and she sort of, I was like the styling assistant and then one day she called me be like can you try to draw an eyeliner on me? I'm like I sort of know how to draw eyeliners and I sort of know how to draw on people's faces and then I'm like okay let me try and then that's how it all started. Yeah, and then you got like a bunch of gigs because of that. Yes, a lot of like fashion stu students were finishing their project and then they were coming up to me like, hey, Yvonne, can you do the photo shoot? Can you do makeup? But I only have like three eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> but it's working. Yeah. And no, but like, you are like the type of person who, who's like really quick at putting on makeup yes like it takes you like 15 minutes to get ready mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's like and one of your eyes like almost ready see <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> there are more i can feel like it's a big area that you're yes. <laughs> that you're drawing on yes <laughs> when did you start putting on makeup like middle school Ah, uh, middle school. Our, our makeup journey, yeah, we can start about makeup journey. Yeah. No, so I asked the question first. So. Okay, I started in middle school. Mm -hmm. But 
but back then I didn't really have like any idea of what what type of makeup that fits me. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to maybe add on a little lipstick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think I started to put on, put on like a little bit of makeup when I was in high school, mm -hmm. like for like concealers. Mm -hmm. And okay, look, look at me. And also like brows. Mm -hmm. But not until college that I really play around with like other looks. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I think it just depends on like it all comes to like who you surround yourself with. Because yes. I feel like I, I get influenced um, by my friends and like from like their style, their makeup, and everything. Mm -hmm. And then when I was like alone in New York City. I used to hang out with like these bunch of friends and we would um, go out at night to like dancing and then they would have like this crazy ass makeup on and then I just thought that mm, I kind of need to I, step I, up. Yeah. But then I started I started to realize that like some of the looks like for example like the blonde like the concealer brows mm -hmm. sometimes it's like a little bit too much for me yeah it's like it doesn't really fit like my style and, and whatever so i guess i'm just like still trying to figure Fine. out what's the level of yeah. makeup you should put on no like now i'm really into like this kind of like culty devilish makeup that i do mm -hmm. I can close my eyes and show them. Okay, you can close your eyes and then show them. Because I want to be, I want a big reveal. Okay, this is half of the eyes, everyone. You see, I add a little purple and something, and then some shiny lotion. Okay, now I fin, I almost finished both eyes, and then we are going to have a photo shoot for this look. It's just gonna be a quick, um, little demonstration. Yeah, of like the makeup. Look at this. As final look, you can turn your head a little bit and then like tilt it down. Yeah, looking forward and then tilt down. Yeah. Yes. This is the final look. And then I'm going to hand him the mirror and then he's gonna see how he looks. Okay. okay one, two, three. <gasps> oh my god. This kind of wait, it's purple. Yeah, it's purple and black, and then like some dust. Yeah, you can like show it to the. It's so cool. It really is like fucking black swan mm -hmm. in the techno club. <laughs> Julia Fox. Julia Fox. Julia Fox yes. in Berlin. <laughs> oh my god, I actually did it myself. <laughs> mm, yeah. To the second look yes so this second look i picked out a more colorful but like more subtle kind of eye shadow look mm -hmm. which is also something that i've never done before like there's so many colors but yes we're gonna try it out and then it's gonna be pretty glamorous yeah what's the vibe what's the vibe air airbrushed airbrushed royal <laughs> royal little prince in mm -hmm. the street of europe europe yes yeah. So I'm going to start with filling in his brows. Okay, so we talked about like life updates. So what is going on in our lives right now? Uh, we just finished school mm -hmm. very recently. No school is so fun for some reason. Yeah. No. If you feel the same, comment down below. Yeah, school is school is fun, but it's like yeah. you don't have like that much freedom. Yeah. So no school right now, and then we are both interning in the same um, designer designer studio, and that has been taking like a quarter of our time per week. I have been working on releasing my jewelry, so I think by the time you see this video, I would have released my jewelry, and I will make a video about it. Yes. 
So this is a project that he's been working on for how long? For like two years. For like two years, holy. What is up with you? Well, mainly I'm just enjoying life. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll get back to tattooing. All right. So people in New York City, if you want like black work and you trust me, we can do tattoos. I can give you a tattoo that's not gonna cost a lot. It's based on trust. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of want to go out more in the summer. Well, it's I feel like in some way we already are. Yeah, that's true. Cause like, I don't know. I'm I'm sort of like an introvert. Mm -hmm. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Uh, like from my um, personality test, so I'm an extrovert. You are? Yes. Really? Yes. I am an introvert for sure. Like it depends on how you recharge yourself. Mm -hmm. You recharge from outside or inside? Yeah, so if you recharge from like going to parties and going to like meeting people and talking to a lot of people, then you're an extrovert. Mm -hmm. But if your recharge time is like based on like spending time with yourself and like staying in, mm -hmm. then you're an introvert. Okay, the main reason I'm feeling going out is sometimes I feel a little pressured about the word use. It's like when you are young or you are a teenager, you sort of have to live your youth. And that's a little pressure. Like sometimes I can't go out, but sometimes I just don't have the energy to go out. Same. And it's a commitment going out. Literally no, because like last time, like like two days ago, I went out with my friends and guess how many naps I took? I took like two naps. I went out at like 12 and then I slept because we were we were working that morning mm -hmm. like and then we, when we finished work we come back in the afternoon I, I like slept on the couch for like 15 minutes at like five or six and then I slept again at nine mm -hmm. at my friend's house I took two naps well it's it's not a good time for you to going out like you worked five hours that day and also like Going out, all, like it also, um, you're also sacrificing your next day. Yes, you definitely have to plan two days of free schedule. Look up. Yeah, cause like you're gonna have to sleep until noon, at least mm -hmm. for the next day. So how how's like our audience feels about us? Please comment down below. Yeah. Like when did you guys start following us? Yeah, we, we would love to know. Yeah. Okay. So, the eyeshadow is half finished. I can't really see here. Yeah. I, yeah, he didn't wear it. I'm not wearing my glasses. Yeah. And I'm just gonna add these little pearls as a final touch because we're going for a fancy little prince type of vibe. And yeah. that's the final little thing. Okay, look at me. No, remember what I used to go for this royal. Royal the royal vibe. I mean, till this day, I don't really know what royal vibe is. <laughs> okay, I get it. You but still don't get it. I get it, but it's like, cool, fine. I'm just not gonna. That, that's not me. <laughs> yeah. Eyes, and then you can go over the front. Okay, and then do like a show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm handing in Rito the mirror to review how he looks like right now. Okay, let's see. Wow, very cool. It really is like the subtle version of last time. I love the pearls. Wow, I like the yellow inside. Yeah, this is a little yellow and a little purple. A little gradient moment. Mm -hmm. so much for watching this video we hope you really liked it and if you like this video please give us a huge like and then follow us on our social media which we're gonna link it right here 
Yes, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you.